Hi everyone, it's the Comic Fan Man here coming at you with another video. And in today's video, we're going to have a look here at the Mortal Kombat 11 Spawn uh, released by McFarlane Toys um, sometime in 2020. Uh, it was definitely just before the, um, the Kickstarter Spawn. And um, yeah, this was the figure... When I got this figure, I did not see any reason to get the uh, Kickstarter spawn, um, especially when I saw that he was not going to have all of this articulation. Um, I decided, you know, I was going to pass on it because this spawn overall looked better. Um, and um, as you can see, normally the spawns, the this spawn came with a Mortal Kombat peg stand, but mine, I don't know why, my, mine had came with a spawn peg stand. Um, it did not come with the Mortal Kombat peg stand. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that was just like misfiled or if I just got a random one that came with spawn. Uh, but this was the stand that he came with. And uh, let's take a look at one, there's only other accessory here which is his sword. This is a really, really cool sword. And I know that this figure was released with a variety of different weapons. Um, you could have gotten like an ax. There was another one that had like a club, a mace. Um, but my version came with this sword. Really, really cool. Look at all that detail and all this wash on there that's really nice because mcfarland toys doesn't really do that anymore these days um this is pretty pretty amazing and it's got all the black stuff on the inside which this is uh i believe would probably be an extension of his um his symbiotic suit um this is very much you know i know spawn has gone through quite a few changes and when he first got his suit, it looked like a regular suit, but eventually they kind of morphed it into like a, a Venom symbiotic type suit. But um, yeah, let's take a look at the figure. I mean, take a look at it. All the detail that they did on this figure is pretty amazing. As you can see, the, the face sculpt is very highly detailed and all of the painting that they did on his eyes that looks awesome and i don't know if you could pick it up really all that there is a little bit of some face detail like under there like you can see the like it's his mask is wrapped around his face really cool look at the sculpt on the body though this is fantastic um just the way it it picks up all the details and all of this spikes are, you know, really kind of sharp. You got to be careful when you're putting the weapons in and out of his hands. And look at all the wash. The wash on this is amazing. They don't do these kind of washes anymore. Um, look on the boot. He's got paint wash everywhere on his pouches. This is amazing. And on his cape, look at this. This is just gorgeous. You know, I, I know it's not the big, crazy, elaborate cape from the Kickstarter, but look at this. It looks like leather. It's worn. The paint washes just give it such, such a vibrant life. And, you know, the paint washes continue into the back. He's got the skull and his belt on the back as well really cool i think this is an amazing amazing figure again and he's articulated to the nines he can do all sorts of poses that the kickstarter spawn can't do that's really really cool uh he can do like a spider-man pose And as we all know, Todd McFarlane used to be the artist of Spider-Man. That's really cool. Yeah, amazing, amazing articulation on this figure. And for whatever reason that 
60 some odd dollar figure from the Kickstarter couldn't do any of this and this is like one third of the price uh, I mean he's more expensive now but if you would have gotten him at the time he was about 20 bucks and he was a much better figure than than the uh, the $60 Kickstarter figure I know like the other one has this crazy cape with wings and you know I'm not begrudging anybody who has it I'm sure you got it you enjoy it um it's just for me for my aesthetic i did not you know from from my perspective i did not see the value in that one although the medieval spawn i saw a lot of value in that one um and i know it was a little hairy at times because it kind of made it seem like we weren't going to get everything um but eventually you know we did un we did unlock all of the um the accessories uh because we hit the target so there's a few things that he comes with that i can't wait to get because i do want to put them on other figures and i do want to try the hamburger head on on this spawn uh because i think that's going to look really cool um to have him in the, in the uh exposed face uh version of spawn on this spawn figure and i can't wait to see like you know i hope that that medieval spawn um, from what I've seen, all the paint apps and everything, I hope it's every bit at least as good of, as this, even though it really should be a lot better. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really, really hoping it's at least as good as this. All right, let's uh, throw on his accessories and let's have a look. All right, so he doesn't have that many accessories. Obviously, he just comes with the sword. But, like, look at the, like, all the articulation he has. It's fantastic. Um, the chains are really nice and rubbery. So they don't really get in the way. And you can, like, really move him around a lot. Which is definitely not something you could say for that Kickstarter spawn. You know, he does kind of just have, like, a staction figure pose. Um... Like you can move them around a little bit, but not not like this. Like this to me is is really really cool. Um, the fact that you can move them around and do all sorts of poses with him. Yeah. <clears throat> Again, like I said, the fact that he had so much articulation, the fact that he was sculpted so nicely, the fact that he actually had paint wash on him. Like, this was the whole reason I never jumped on that Kickstarter, because he, I was just like, he, he's he got everything. Like, the only thing he's missing is that cape. <clears throat> but as far as the figure figure himself, like, this is, this is fine. This is fantastic, in fact. Um, and this is probably the best that McFarlane has done on his figures in a while. Um, because even though <clears throat> McFarlane toys, uh, they really do amazing sculpting. It's been a while since I've seen a figure, uh, with this kind of wash. Um, and he hasn't done it in a long time. <clears throat> and even when he does do washes, like he did a wash on the Batman v Superman Batman, and he skipped out on doing the wash on the back, which is pretty crazy. All right. Let's um, let's uh, show him off with some other weapons, since uh, you know he he is a spawn who does like to shoot. All right, here he is. I put him on a little flight stand, just running and gunning, and uh, yeah, as you can see, again, like I said, this is one of the best McFarlane figures, uh, one of the best uh, spawn figures he's ever made. Like, it really, like, it has everything. It has the sculpt. It has articulation. It's got the paint washes. You know, everything that McFarlane Toys was known for, this figure has. And it's fantastic. I love the way he looks. Uh, these are just two random guns that I had from other figures. And as you can see, it fits in real nice. It's got a little machine gun effect here. A rat-a-tat-tat. -tat -tat. And, uh... 
other machine gun on that side. And yeah, like I said, you know, he just, I love the way he looks and I really wish like McFarlane toys would just go ahead and start doing this kind of work again. Cause this is really, really, really cool. All right, let's do some comparisons. All right, and here he is with the Batfleck um, Batman from Batman v Superman. And again, as you can see, yes, because of the paint washes, you know, these are really, really nice, very comparable. But here's the thing where this one has the wash all over the place. McFarlane, I don't know, for whatever reason, cheaped out on the back of this one. So I actually did a little bit of washing myself, a little dry brushing there. But yeah, it, it was it was kind of weird because like they don't they just refuse to do washes on the whole figure now. I don't know, I don't know why. I mean, you know, folks have said like, oh well, you know, they're not meant to be open. It was like get out of here with that nonsense. If you don't want to open it, don't open it. But you shouldn't be like, well, I'm not gonna put paint wash on the back because they're not meant to be open. It's like then why make it? Come on, either do it right or don't do it at all. Now here he is with another um, spawn from Mortal Kombat 11. And as you can see, like this was a really cool looking spawn. He was sculpted really nicely. He does have a lot of the nice detail, but you can definitely see like he does not have nowhere near the wash and finish that this one has. This was just left in flat colors. Uh, even the cape, it's exactly the same cape. But look at how much of a difference a wash makes on it. It just makes it look completely alive. Whereas this one looks completely like dead. It's just a flat color. Um, and on top of that, he didn't paint any of these details. Yeah, it's really, really kind of weird. Um, that, that McFarlane is doing their figures like that. Like... These are your babies. Like, this is not DC Multiverse or any other IP or, or cartoon where the colors should be flat. Like, these are yours, McFarlane. Like, take care of your stuff. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, all of the Spawn figures should have a complete finish like this one. Like, this is, you know... I guess he left it up to interpretation and up to the customizers to fix this, but that's not, you know, this, this kind of looks bad when this is a figure from your own company and you don't treat him right. All right, here he is side by side with another demon from the dark side, Venger from Dungeons and Dragons. And... Yeah, I think th this is really cool. You can see Venger is just a little bit taller. He's meant to be in the more of the eight inch scale uh, where Spawn is like seven inch, um, but it, it's actually not too far off. Um, I think this might be a little bit bigger than his normal regular seven inch because he is almost the same size as him. Um, yeah, and it looks really, really cool. Like, you see, like, this is a cartoon character. The colors are flat. It's meant to be flat. Like, that looks good because he's a cartoon character. Whereas, you know, when you do, like, you know, your own Spawn figures, yeah, they should have wash on them because it looks so much better with them. Spawn has always felt more, like, you know, visceral and realistic as far as, like, comic book heroes. So yeah, I think this looks really, really good because each character looks their style to the max. All right, here's a good challenge for Spawn. Dungeons and Dragons War Duke from Mecha Toys. And as you can see, because they both have really nice paint apps, they really kind of work together. And I said in a previous video, NECA Toys really is the only company today with their paint apps that even comes close to what McFarlane Toys used to do in the late 90s and early 2000s. Like even McFarlane Toys doesn't do what they used to do back then with the paint apps. But this spawn figure, this spawn figure here is really, really great. Like I said, you know, this was a figure that 
you know, when I got them, I said, yeah, there's no reason for me to to get the Kickstarter because this the sculpting is every bit as good on the figure himself. The only thing that the Kickstarter had on this figure was the, the cape. Um, and as it is like this version of Spawn and the Kickstarter didn't even come with the Spawn mask, which was pretty crazy to me. All right, so here he is with his uh, medieval spawn brethren. Um, these are the medieval spawn two and three from the year 2000, 2001. And um, yeah, these are from the golden years of McFarland Toys as far as I'm concerned. Uh, this was when McFarland Toys did amazing sculpture and paint apps. Um, yeah, the articulation obviously on these are very limited, very like uh, early 2000s, late 90s, but uh, the art aesthetic on these, um, yeah, no toy company could, could touch this. And McFarland Toys today doesn't even come close to this, but this spawn here, as you can see, the, again, this is the reason I did not buy that Kickstarter spawn because he had all the sculpt, he has articulation, and he had paint washes. Um, and the only thing that that one had was the, uh, was the shield. I mean, this, this is a fantastic spawn. This is quite possibly, for the modern era, this is quite possibly the best um, McFarlane spawn um, he's done in a very, very long time. And uh, quite possibly one of the, the best figures uh, in general um, that he's done in a long time. Uh, because, like I said, he just, uh, the company basically just uses um, colored plastics now and doesn't really do much as far as like painting, um, which is okay. I mean, you know, for like the DC Comics, uh, those figures, I think it's kind of okay because, uh, you know, if you're thinking about them in comic book format, yeah, like, you know, they kind of have that uh, flat color palettes. But as far as like Spawn himself, like these kind of figures, like, yeah, this, this is definitely something that McFarlane Toys needs to try to get back to. Um, and I think they're doing it really well with the, with the medieval spawn Kickstarter. And I really can't wait for that Kickstarter spawn to come in because he's going to come in with so many accessories that I'm going to be able to use. I mean, I'm going to be able to swap out the heads here. Um, I'll be able to put the, the hamburger head on, on this spawn if I want, which is great. Um, so I can have a hamburger head spawn or a regular figure. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy with, uh, with what he did in the uh, Medieval Spawn Kickstarter. And I can't wait to get him to put him alongside this group and see how it works out. Um, so, yeah, I, I hope you like this look at uh, Mortal Kombat 11 Spawn, although this is really just the real Spawn. And um, if you feel that I've earned it, please give me a like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye-bye. Ha, <laughs> this is his second video, and I still got the arrows on there. Yay! <laughs> we'll see if it'll make it to the medieval spawn Kickstarter comes in. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye.